Great. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Vincent Meza. This is Listings to Leads. And it sounds like you all have access to our platform. So welcome. Um, we are a full kind of real estate advertising platform. We have tools for you if you have listings. And we have tools for you if you don't have listings. So if you want to find more buyers or more listings, or if you want to have a strong social media game, or you just need content to get out there in front of the markets, um, we have tools for you that will operate and print on social media, on Google, and in your CRM. So it's really a wide uh, system here. There's a lot to it. We're going to kind of cover the highlights of it today. Um, but before we kind of get started, I do want to give you a couple of resources while we're talking. Um, one I'm going to give to you right here. It's our mastermind group. And Lori, as you're kind of inviting people, one, you should be in this group. And two, um, let's see if I can get here. I Normally I can do this, but I'm having to think, I guess. Um, you can invite people as you're adding them to the system. And I'm going to send this to everybody in the chat panel now. It is a link that will get you to this private Facebook mastermind group. It's where my partner Scott and I talk about the new technology that's coming. It's also where our, our clients are talking about questions that they have or things that they're doing and ways that they're using the system that will help you um, understand like things that you can do. So it's, I think it's really smart to check in here once a week, maybe take a few minutes, scan of and see what's happening um, and just keep you on top of what we're doing and what's happening in the market. Another great resource is our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel, I'm going to send this link to you. There is a lot to the platform. Um, but I can tell you this, I've had clients grow their business, you know, from five to 20 million in two years by just putting in a couple of hours a week with this system. And our and that was a few years ago. Um, our system is getting more efficient and more powerful. We're adding more tools. We're adding more functionality that can help you capture buyer and seller leads. And we do live training every, every week. And if you're able to join us for that, for that live training, awesome. You can sign up for it here on leadgenwebinars.com. But I'm sending this to everybody right now. These three links I would definitely recommend that you get on. One is the Facebook invite link. The other is our YouTube channel that you want to go check out. And the one I just sent you is leadgenwebinars.com. And these are the three things that we talk about. And this call is going to be a little bit of a hybrid of these things. So that's why you're going to want to check out our YouTube channel, because I'll, once I get going here and I have a little coffee, I'll get moving pretty fast. So there's Get Started, and this is kind of for new clients, your new how do you set it up? And I'm getting a little background. So let's see if we can meet some people here. Um, there we go. Um, and then there's Facebook and Google ads. And I will tell you this, if you can remember anything, Facebook is awesome for getting buyer leads. Awesome, fast, and cheap. Um, and you can also get seller leads on Facebook as well. Um, and there are different qualities of leads from Facebook uh, when it comes to seller leads. But Google is an awesome place to get seller leads. And so you'll want to kind of see what I'm talking about there. And, and as I said, I won't go into complete detail on every one of these uh, steps here. But there is a Facebook and Google class that we do every two weeks. And then the last class I do is called um, Top Tools to Get More Listings. And if you're an agent who wants more listings in your business you probably want to use our top tools that get listings. And that's what I cover. And those are all here on this page. And now I think you have a link to this page. So you'll find if you scan through here, here's Facebook and Google, here's top tools to get more listings here and somewhere there's get started, right? So this is just a great resource. Definitely hold on to it. I'm going to save it here so we can go back to it. And let's talk a little bit about setup. Each of you has a profile and often agents get a profile and even in this account here, you don't even sign in. 
So you're not, nothing is going to happen if you don't sign into the account. And the, and there are some setup things that you want to take care of. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. On your profile is a tab that says auto posting. And just like Amanda here, you want to connect your social media accounts. You will also have three tabs here. One says preferences listing. One says seller ads. One says down payer assistance, which I can't see from this view. And another one says new construction. And what that means is if you turn these things on and you set the time frame, we will auto post all of your listings to your social media accounts. We'll even put landing pages behind them to capture leads for free. We will auto post a home valuation post on your social media accounts. And there will be a landing page behind that and one for new construction and one for first time home buyers. So definitely turn that on. There is a CRM page. So if you have CRM, you definitely want to connect it here. If you see the um, API here, if you don't see the API and your CRM supplies a unique email address, drop that in here and save it and we will be sending leads there and then they'll parse them and drop them into their system. Um, so that's kind of what's there on the, I'm going to jump out of this because this is not um, a good a good view for me. Um, so you set up your profile there and let's go into this account and look at some of the other things we got to set up. Let me have some coffee while we're waiting. Oh, that's cool. So. If you don't have a CRM and you're going to work with us, you're going to need a CRM. And if you don't want to, there is a system here that says follow-ups. And even if you have a CRM, and you got to kind of think about this, honestly, do, does your CRM create meetings for you? The, the, I think a CRM can do a whole heck of a lot of things. But one thing that we find important is that the drip campaigns in CRMs are actually dripping on your leads and converting those leads into appointments. And I don't think many CRM platforms are actually doing that. I think they have drip campaigns. I, I, I use, I've tested a number of myself, but they're actually a bit stale right out of the box. Is there a cheat sheet to set up? No, Kelly, there isn't. You know what there is? There's our get started video right here. Um, and if you watch that, every time I start the get started call, I go through all the things that we're going to set up just like we're doing right now. So turn on the follow-ups. If you're in a Spanish speaking market, you can turn on our Spanish follow-ups as well, but just the buyer follow-up and the seller follow-up. Okay. Um, there's also a tab up here that says social. You want to go to this tab. And when you come here, um, it's going to ask you to connect to social media. So you might, feel like you've done this when you're setting it up, but we actually have a lot of software patches in here for multiple companies. So you're going to be asked to connect to social media at least three times. So just do that until it just stops asking. Um, and what it does is it says, connect to your social media accounts. Then it says, what schedule would you like us to post? And then it says, what topics would you like us to post? Now, I think there's over 45 topics on, you know, kind of real estate related stuff. We think of this in, in, in a way of like keeping current matters, but we're not a big fan of keeping current matters because it, it, it's really boring content. And, and me personally, I don't think people like to read anymore. And so our content is more colorful. It's more conversational. It's about things like home design, uh, outdoor living, sort of inspirational quotes and maintenance stuff, just kind of real estate related content that you can set and forget. Now, one thing up here that I definitely want everybody to turn on is these two buttons here. And you just click the circle there. And this is for PDF guides for sellers and PDF guides for buyers. I'm gonna talk more about the PDF guides in a little bit, but these are very powerful. They are branded to you and they capture leads. Now, you can put these on your social media accounts by hand, or you can have it done automatically right here. Then there's the ad section over here. And on the ad section, 
you can kind of, it's going to ask you again to connect to your Facebook account. And I definitely recommend that you're connecting there. As I mentioned earlier, um, this is a great, fast, and cheap way to get buyer leads with name, email, and phone number. And they are effective. You may have some, you know, concern that they are not good leads or something like that. I have clients, you know, running a $35 ad and generating five active buyers and one listing in less than seven days from one ad. Um, and that's in Maryland. And that's like, I don't know, six weeks ago. And so there are times when things are not working so well, but right now, right now Facebook is working really well for, for buyers. So when that's kind of the setup, connect Facebook, turn on your social page, turn on follow-ups if you need them, and then those few settings on the profile. There is one thing that kind of feels like setup to me, and it's called client reviews. And let me show you where that appears. Let's go over to here to the listing section real quickly. And I want to show you that in certain places in our marketing, in the tools for you, we create, um, we, we take your reviews and we populate them onto the tools. And one place is your single property website. So if you have a single property website for a property, it's going to have the normal things you would expect, your contact info, pictures. Um, we actually include 25 uh, or actually a number of our PDF guides that are, again, branded to you. Um, but down here are all your reviews. Now, we can auto sweep Zillow, but this is we can also you can hand kind of copy in your reviews from Google and Yelp and Realtor.com or wherever they are so that when you're marketing with our, our platform, people can see, you know, how awesome you are right there. And to set that up is a tab here that says client reviews on the left. And. If we click add review, you can sort of say, hey, I want Google, Facebook, or other platforms. Just copy your review from your uh, whatever website, put the name, and save it. And then it will be sort of showing on the tools. We currently have an API from Zillow, and we're about to launch an API from a company called Testimonial Tree. So if you're using either of those platforms to collect uh, 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 reviews, and that can happen more automatically. Once that's all done, there is a website called a client review website, and each of you will have one. It will look like this, and it will have all of your reviews, and it will have links to your favorite landing pages, and it will have links to many of the PDF guides. We still haven't seen those yet, but we'll see them in a minute. And then any listings that are in your account are going to have this here as well. So if you're getting, and, and then if you click on a listing from there, we're going to take you to the single property website and, you know, you're starting to get familiar with what we're doing here, right? But if you do get a review, just copy the hyperlink and you put it in here, because if you haven't figured it out, there's a lot of lead capture on that review page. And there's a lot of content for people. So if you have a review, just go tag your client. Um and, you know, sure, go this uh, and paste in the link. Because when you do that, this is going to be seen by all of your client. If you're tagging your client, all of their friends and family and colleagues are going to see this on Facebook. And if they click on it, you know they're going to drop here. And that's where, you know, all kinds of tools about you and to capture leads for you are sitting. So that's the client review page and that's there. And that's kind of everything about setup. So from that point, there are kind of three or four areas that you're gonna wanna be using kind of on a consistent basis. One of them is landing pages. One of them is PDF guides. The other is ads and the other is listings. Now we should be able to auto sweep your listings, but let's go to listings uh, real quickly. And just to answer this question right up front, um, if you don't have your own listings, you can borrow listings. You can click right here and click grab active listing and you just need the zip code 
and the MLS ID and we'll pull in the, the listing for you. And then it will capture leads for you. All the marketing tools. And I'll show you those marketing tools in just a bit. Um, and this is, you know, if, if your MLS does not operate with our partner list hub to auto sweep your listing, this is a way to put it in. But another uh, reason that people use this button is you might be holding an open house for another agent, right? That agent's too busy. Um, and you just want to, you know, you're going to hold, you're going to go sit in that open house. So you want to market and you want to capture leads. And when we get into the listing section, all those tools are going to be available for you when we get under that market listing button. Um, and so that's just an effective button. And Janine's asking, can this be for listings outside the office? And yes, it doesn't have to be within the office. Um, they do have to be active listings. So you can't pull pending or sold listings. Uh, they have to be active for sale or just list or something like that. So before we get into listings and to ads and PDF guides, I want to go into landing pages because landing pages are, yeah, you will need permission. I think whether in it, you're borrowing a listing from inside of an office, like your own office, or from another office, you're probably going to want to get permission. You might also, I recommend checking your MLS rules on this one. Um, I'm just showing you from a technical how to click the buttons and make it happen, but you might actually have some rules. Um, and what I'm hearing is internal. It's okay to borrow our listing. So this is a landing page section. And when you come here the first time, you're going to notice that you have free home values, down payer assistance, and new construction already built for you. I recommend that you click edit on this free home values, and you make sure that this photograph here looks like your area. Okay. So we'll give it a second. The first place we drop you on is upload image and, and that's where you upload it. This image should be about 2000 pixels wide, okay? This is a landing page to give an instant home value. You drop in your address and then you give us your email and we'll give you your home value and you, the agent, will be copied on that. So you wanna have one of these for every one of the cities or neighborhoods where you want listings. I'm gonna show you how to market them in just a little bit here. But you have to kind of remember what you're trying to achieve here. You're trying to get somebody's address and contact information online, and they don't know who you are. So if you're going with generic suburban street like this, and it doesn't look like your neighborhoods, it's not going to be very effective. Okay. So the fastest way to build trust is just by taking a few seconds and putting in a photograph of maybe a later major landmark of your cities. So that's the first thing I would definitely recommend over here. But you might also, as you can see here, we've got property valuation landing pages for multiple areas. And so if you click here on create landing page and you create a property valuation plus landing page, um, that's the instant home value. And so you can just type in the name of a city, right? You can just say Orlando. And you click create landing page and it's going to drop you on. Let me just do that. Let me just show you. Um, it's going to create a landing page and it's going to put an even more generic photograph back there. So let's look at it one second. So again, you're going to want to get this in front of people who probably don't know you. Maybe it's online. Maybe it's in print. Maybe it's they're seeing it from, from some e-flyer you're blasting out in your CRM. And this right here, this coffee cup and that little laptop, that might not instill confidence that this is not a national spam campaign. And that's where just taking a second to upload an image of Orlando or whatever town you're, you're working on is going to make that work for you. After you've done that, go up to advanced options on the top left and go to print marketing and look at some of these tools that will be driving people to that. We have postcards, we have door hangers, and we have these letters. And the letters tend to work the best, okay? And they will have the photo. If you put a photograph in, in there, like I've been mentioning, they will have the photo. But this is just a very simple piece of paper. But these pieces of paper are very effective at getting high-quality listing leads. 
And it, we call it a home sold report. So you will want to edit it. And it says this is what sold in April. So we're always talking about the previous month. So go find out, you know, 20 homes sold in Orlando. The high was here. You know, that makes it 100 for the year. Things like that. We don't want this to be more than one page. And it says that's affected your home value. So click here and go check that out, right? Go get your free home value. And you know what that's about. Then there's also, it says, this is, um, well, that is the free home value page. Okay, we changed that. Hey, we're making improvements so fast, I don't even know <laughs> sometimes. But anyway, that's the print uh, way of getting people to those landing pages, okay? And you can also create landing pages, as an FYI, for iBuyers, for Fizbo's. Uh, you can do custom ones. I know uh, I was talking to an agent who was creating a uh, first-time home buyer class and wanted a custom landing page for buyers to market and get people out there. Um, and then empty nesters. So empty nesters, you know, you, you know what that's about. So there's all kinds of templates there that you can create. And then once you've done that, you can use the ad section or the print tools that are in advanced options to get people there. So we'll talk about ads kind of lastly, but let's click on PDF guides. I'd mentioned it a few times today. There are 80 PDF guides for each of you. Your branding will show up. So the color scheme and everything will be flowing through this. And 40 of them are for buyers. And the other 40 are for sellers. Now you can download them right here. A lot of our clients like to download them and, and maybe put them in an envelope and, and leave them behind at a, at a home if they're a lead. But there's also other things you can do with it if you click on market here. You can run an ad on Facebook and Instagram. You can create a social media post. I do want to remind you when I talked about the social page on the left, I was telling you that we can do it for you automatically. But if you like to do things by hand, you just click here and click post now and that. You can just do that whenever you feel like doing it. I think automation is smarter, uh, but that's your choice. There's an e-flyer for your database. So if you're using a CRM and you have hundreds or thousands of leads, um, you want to use this. You want to blast this out. There's a link for them to copy or there's a link for them to click on where they can go download this report. So you copy the code up here. You go to your CRM and you paste the code and you just blast it out, right? Um, you can also create postcards and door hangers here. And the last thing that's here is a landing page. I wanna point this out because all of those options that we just looked at are all going to drive people to this page. And that means that before people can download this free guide, which you are branded on every page, they have to give you their contact information. And so that is really the whole point of having PDF guides is certainly to brand you and certainly to show that you're a professional that has, you know, expertise and knowledge in the industry. But we're here to help you capture leads. And so if anytime you're using these PDF guides, there are multiple ways of capturing leads. The last section we're going to cover here is listings. And I mentioned earlier that your listings can be auto swept. Um, there's also, we, we talked about the grab active listing button. I do recommend that everybody, as soon as you can get to this page, go over here where it says click create listing presentation and click that button and download and print this and leave this on your desk because, you know, we've been doing this for 13 years. And one thing I know about realtors is they will forget that they have access to this. Um, and this will help you remember. But also, if you find yourself in a listing presentation, I think you'll find that this is a very difficult document to compete against. And that's why you need to look at it yourself and kind of get familiar with it to present it. Because it talks about all the things that listings to leads is doing. It doesn't mention listings to leads, though. It only talks about you and your brand. It doesn't say that more than half of this stuff is done automatically. It's not really that important. What's important is what are you bringing to the table to sell their home? So you want to get familiar with this document. And you it's called our listing presentation. You download it at the top of the listings page.
So now that you have that under your wings, let's talk about how you can market a home. And we click on market listings and you'll see a list of things going on here, right? We've really stacked these. We've, we've sorted them by the most effective tools on the top and the least effective on the bottom, okay? So if you really want to get the most out of it, you probably want to concentrate on the top half of this list and make sure you're doing it. If you like lists, and I know somebody asked for a list somewhere, there is a checklist here. It says download checklist. The funny thing about that checklist to me is that it just mirrors this list right here. So if you didn't work through this list, if you like a checklist and, and you want to look at that, you know, there you go. Um, it's going to tell you to go through these. Things. And this is what you do. You click here on Facebook and Instagram. And as long as your Facebook account is connected, you all you need to do is click create an ad. Now, you might have heard me say this earlier <clears throat> that the cheapest way to get buyer leads is to run an ad on Facebook. And it's exactly how we're doing it right here. Okay. If we're running an ad, though, when this home is pending, when we're running an ad on a pending property, it's designed to get home value leads. If we're running a property on a con on a home that's under contract or sold, it's also designed to get listing leads. But if it's early stage, like just listed, open house, we're active, it's going to get you buyer leads. Just an FYI, buyer leads can cost between $1.50 and $3 on average. Seller leads can cost anywhere from $2.50 to um, $30 per lead. And when you are creating a seller ad, it's usually we put a default uh, amount of $50 and it's seven days. So if you're paying $250 a lead, you're going to get 20 leads. If you're paying $30 a lead, you're going to get one lead, right? And the reason that that price is different, you may not know how Facebook prices stuff. You're going to want to watch that top tools for more listings and also the Facebook and Google ads because I talk about the pricing of seller leads um, because it's basically it's different tools. Facebook sets the price and I actually don't know how they set the price, but I do know it's different. Um, and so anyway, that's a Facebook an Instagram ad. Here is social media posts. And I mentioned that when we were talking about setup in the beginning, that we can auto post your listings to your account for you, right? You certainly can click and do that manually as well if you like to do things manually. Um, but here, this is all pre-written, pre-done with emojis and hashtags. And when you click on this, there is a landing page behind it. And that landing page you probably are starting to gather, uh, can convey information and capture leads for you, right? And so that's kind of the name of the game is we're going to do it for you automatically and we're going to help capture leads for you at the same time. So that can be done automatically. There is something for uh, sharing on your seller social media. If you like listing leads, we definitely um, recommend that you use this. We email this tool to you. So we're asking you to open the email and follow the instructions. And the instructions are forward this message to your homeowner and ask them to put it on their social media wall. The nearby homeowner letter here is the number one tool for capturing listing leads that turn into listing contracts, okay? So what I mean is, you remember how when we go over here to the YouTube channel and I keep talking about this top tools to get more listings, there's a lot of tools on there. And what you'll find in that class is there's a different quality to leads, depending on what you're doing. If you're running it out on Facebook, there's certain quality. If you're capturing a lead from this letter that you've mailed to your neighborhood, there's a different quality. If you're running an ad on Google, there's even a different quality of the lead, right? And this one will not capture the most amount of leads but these leads will convert the fastest into a listing contract. So it's worthwhile to get your arms around that. 
A lot of our clients use them twice per listing, like when they have something that's just listed. And again, when it's something just sold, when they sell the property, they mail it to the same list of people of homeowners in their area. There's an e-flyer for your database. Again, if you've got a CRM and you want to say, hey, we just listed a property, just copy and paste, because right below, it affects your home value. And that's how you're going to get either buyer or seller lead from blasting in your CRM. We do create single property websites and virtual tours. We have a whole open house marketing toolkit, mobile optimized QR codes, sign in forms for the event, uh, listing flyers, a little more brand focused and less lead gen focused, postcards that have links on the front to get people to learn about the home. Always on the back, it's going to say that that's going to affect your home value. So there's a link to get their free home value on the back, on the door hangers, on postcards. If you're doing print, make sure you're looking at our tools because our designs capture leads. Um, you do get text in your uh, with your account, and this is where you can get designs for sign writers. And if you're in a market where people like to do that, we definitely uh, recommend that you're using that. You can use our, I think we have a company, um, they're cheap signs that'll help you, or you might have your own printer. Um, if you're a blogger, we have blog posts and yep, all those blogs, uh, capture leads, Craigslist, um, you can copy and paste, uh, your listings over there with this app. There is a QR code for that. And yeah, that's listing marketing. Okay. Um, we talked about PDF guides, social, we know is automatic landing pages. You create and you market that way. Let's see if my ad section, it looks like we've, we fixed our ad section here. So let's go look at this real quickly. Have a sip of coffee while we're waiting. Okay. So when you come here, your ads page will not look like this. It will look, it'll have a big blue button that says connect to Facebook. And you should connect to Facebook. Um, you will be connecting your business page. You can't run ads from your private page. And one thing to know is your ads will sort of sit here. They'll tell you how much money you've spent. They'll tell you right here how many leads you have. They'll tell you right here what your cost per lead. In this case, it's $4.87. But it'll also tell you how many people saw the ad. In this case, about 3,000 people. I really recommend Facebook. For, bu for building your brand. Uh, if you're a new agent and you know I'm not exactly sure where you're sitting in the country, you've got competition and people don't know you're an agent except for your friends and family. Running ads on Facebook, hundreds or thousands of people see each ad. So you build your brand pretty quickly that way. And of course you capture leads. But here's how you run the ads. You can run listing ads, landing page ads and PDF guide ads. OK, and let's just start with listing it. And let's use a property that's for sale. And any listing that's in your account is going to be in that drop down. So, you know, you know how to get listings in your account now. Um, all you have to do is click that green button there that says publish. Now, we are using something called Facebook lead form. So when they respond, when they click on that ad, they're going to, uh, this little window is going to pop up and say, would you like more information? There's only one answer, yes. And in that answer is their name, email, and phone number already pre-populated from their phone number. Our clients find that to be very accurate. And I recommend that you text them and you email them until you get them to talk to you. Right? That's just part of the game. Put them in a drip campaign and text them an email and, and offer service and make sure you're letting them know that you're there to help. Leads, just to FYI, don't convert in 24 hours typically. Um, so you need to have a good solid follow-up plan. So that's a great way to get buyers. That is the fastest, easiest way to get buyers. If we go here to listing ad and we market a home that is, let's see, it's so weird when I come back here twice, I have to refresh my browser. So. Please give me a second. Do they have to fill in their phone number or can they fill in either email or phone number? 
Uh, sorry, Chris, can you repeat that? Sure. When they're putting in their information, can they get away with just putting in their email or do they have to put email and phone number? It's it's pre-populated. So if I don't think they can delete it. Okay. So everybody on Facebook has their email and phone number in there because if you get locked out, you need that to get in there. And that's what it's pulling. So they're not typing in information. It's pre-populated and deleted. So Vince, is that something that had changed? Because I gotten like tons and tons of listing to leads and the only thing I've gotten was emails, never a phone number. Is that Are you running ads this way that I'm showing you? I don't think they're the paid ads. Is that a difference? That, that's a different thing. Okay. So what that is, let me show you. So it's by running ads where you have this functionality. What you're doing is you are using our auto posting probably. You're automatically posting listings, like I said earlier, and I definitely recommend that. And it goes out to your social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. It looks like this, which kind of looks like an ad, but it's not an ad. It's, it's just going to your networks. And when people click on this, then there's going to be this kind of page. And there's going to be some sort of lead capture. Right. In this case, the home is later stage, so it's offering a free home value. But this does not require a phone number. And if you there, there you might notice that if you go in the settings in the background of our system, that you can start to require a phone number. If you require a phone number in our platform and force people to type in a phone number, you can kill your lead gen by like 99%. People will leave your page rather than type it in. So if you want leads with phone numbers, the number one place is Facebook. So I hope that helps. Um, I definitely recommend auto posting, but as you can tell, you're getting leads with just email. That's just the function there. You could you could take your settings on on your on the listings page and show the number, like show the phone number field, but I don't ever recommend requiring a phone number. So back here on the listing ad, I do want to just point out, if we do a property that is pending or sold, the call to actions are to get home values, right? So this is to help you get more listings. A lot of realtors just don't realize that if they market a home that is sold or pending or under contract, they're gonna get more listings. A lot of our clients though, take their listings and they get one or two more listings by marketing their listings. And the way they do that is by running ads like we're doing, we're looking right now and using that nearby homeowner letter, okay? Those are the ways of getting listing leads with your listings. Um, and then let's go look at the other ways to run ads. Now, landing page ads, we talked about all the ways to create landing pages. So once you've created a landing page, um, oh my goodness. Sorry, my page is uh, forcing me to read. Once you've created a landing page, I think a Facebook ad can be very effective. What I do want to point out, so if you've got new construction, that, that's a really great ad you can do. It's if, if you're doing down payer assistance, if you're creating a custom landing page. One tricky thing is, and one thing that agents definitely love to do, is to create a home valuation landing page. And that is tricky and often not effective for realtors. This used to be effective years ago. But Facebook has been slapped by HUD with lawsuits for illegal ads. And now you can't really target. And I, I, you guys are in the Orlando area. So I think that this will not be that effective without you jumping a few hoops. And what I mean by that is instead of using, let me just type in Orlando right here. If I type in Orlando, and I create a page over there that says Orlando. 
and I run a $50 ad, there's, there's a couple of problems of, of running this. This ad has been used because this kind of landing page has been you created for well over 10 years by many companies. And realtors are pretty comfortable running that. And Facebook knows realtors like it. So they charge around $15 a lead for this kind of ad. All right. So agents, we got plenty of new clients that sign up all the time. And they're like, oh, I, I like those. I want lead listings. I'm going to go do this. What they are not thinking about, however, is just geography, right? And, and when we type in Orlando, there are a lot of areas in Orlando, and there's a 15-mile radius, right? So there's a minimum 15-mile radius. Now, I'm not exactly sure all these towns, but if I own a home in Forest City, that's probably 15 miles from Orlando. So they're going to see this ad. These people down in Oak Ridge are going to see this ad, Azalea Park. And you're showing them something that is not quite relevant to them, right? Really, what you want is just the people that live in Orlando. And you cannot target that way with, with um, Facebook. And that's what makes this ad kind of ineffective. Now, there is this section down here, and it's called Retarget Current Leads. You can actually create custom audiences that will live in your Facebook account. And I'm going to create, I'm just going to show you, even though this is not really what we're looking for, you can create a custom audience. You go get a list of homeowners in Orlando, and you can call it Orlando Homeowners. And instead of typing Orlando up here, just target with a list of homeowners down here. And that's how you make this ad work. But if you just go by default settings, it won't work. I'll back up right here. When you're getting on this page, you'll see little yellow messages saying, turn on custom audiences and turn on retargeting. At that point, this little blue button here that says create audience, this is where you create your custom audience. And this lives in your private Facebook ad account. So even if you stopped working with us, you would still have this as, as a feature or an option to target to. We show you what your spreadsheet should look like here. You upload it here and you import it. And then you can retarget with it. <clears throat> Very smart way of, uh, of working. So let's see, we talked about that. We also, we didn't, but we, we got to mention running PDF guides ads on Facebook can be effective as well. And it's good, especially if you don't have your own listings um, and you don't feel like you have much to market with. Well, there are 80 different options that you can bring content to. Uh, you can download them right here if you want to read them and, and, and recognize that you're branded on every page. But that's the kind of things you can do with Facebook. You can also, now this doesn't come with your account, but if you click on create a Google ad, you can sign up for 30 bucks a month to run ads on Google. And I highly recommend that actually. Um, I'm gonna show you, this is, uh, this is Facebook. And what's awesome about Facebook is American adults spend 40 minutes every day scrolling through this newsfeed. They do it on their phone, they do it in their office, they do it in their car. Some of you are probably doing it right now as we're on a call, right? It's just that powerful. We can see all the things that our friends are eating and where they're on vacation. And you can see your grandkids and all kinds of cool stuff. And when you're using Facebook, your ad shows up right there, right? And that's why if I've got an open house and I just happen to be looking at, you know, cats on Facebook, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in open house. I will go look for that. I'll, I'll click on that. And that's how you capture a lead. But and what's interesting about Facebook, it's the number three website in the country. And so it's a powerful platform. It's worthwhile. Now, if somebody has a question, though, like, hey, where's the best place to get a steak or where's a good hotel in New York or how do I sell my home? They don't ask that question on Facebook. They ask that on Google. 86% of all searches begin on this page on the internet. 
So if you're going to be in the real estate business for a while and you want listings in your business, you want to figure out a Google strategy. And there are a lot of companies that will charge you hundreds and thousands of dollars to make that strategy work for you. And I have people call me all the time from those companies telling me how sad they are about their ROI there. Here, it's $30 a month to use our software. And then you can create a PDF guide ad or a landing page ad on home value. And let me just show you how easy it is. Here's one for Orlando, right? And we click create an ad and you type in the word Orlando. Let's see if this is going to work. It looks like something's weird is happening here. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you've ever run an ad on, on Google. If I click this advanced options button, it's very ugly like all this down here. And everything that you see is being done by us automatically. You will have to do that by hand if you go do it in Google. If you're using our software, you just need to go create the landing page, choose a landing page you wanna to drive to and type in the city. If we click view link here, we're going to drive to that Orlando landing page that we created earlier that we need to put a picture of something cool from Orlando behind before we run the ad. But then you're running a $50 ad. You can change that budget for seven days. Now, I know because, you know, we've been, help, we've been helping agents run ads on Facebook since the day Facebook created an ad platform. All right, we've been here longer than that. But on Google... We just added this software less than six months ago. So I don't know the cost of leads on Google. I just know it's the number one place for lead gen. But what we do know is in Texas, in Dallas specifically, seller leads cost $30 each. So that's why we have a $50 budget sitting right there every day, and it's a seven-day ad. So you would end up spending, you could potentially spend $350 in one week on just getting seller leads. That's what will happen here. And I do recommend that you try it, that you test it. This, if you're going to want have more listings in your business, Google has to be part of that business strategy, right? There are other ways to get listing leads. My top tools to get more listings has all kinds of ways. And we've talked about a few today, but Google is the number one place where people are going. And when they go here, if they type in something like this, how do I sell my home? You can see right here, Maple Home Buyers is the sponsored app. So they have bought those keywords in my town, in Lafayette, California. You might want to do a search. I'm actually going to do, a, a, I'm going to do, a, I'm going to give you something right now because Google is the number one uh, website in the world. It doesn't matter if you're selling cars, eyelashes, baby back ribs, or homes. You need to have a Google strategy. And this page right here I'm sending you will help you just think a little bit about it. I like this because they keep refreshing it. Like every few months, they go and find out what are the top search words that buyers are using. They are all listed right here. This is what buyers are typing in on Google. If you're not interested in buyers, just scroll down and you will see what the top selling searches are. And you can use this in your strategy, right? When you're running ads, whether you're using our software or not. But if you click in advanced options here, you're going to recognize a lot of those keywords because I've already told our tech team to refresh this keywords so that you don't actually have to type in your own keywords. We're just doing it, right? So that's the the value of that. You definitely want to be having a Google, you know, strategy going on. You don't have to use our software, but if you like to do things easily with success, I, I recommend it. So guys, are there any questions? Um, that's kind of my story for today.
So just to reiterate what you said earlier, um, by not putting the phone number in, if you're doing those social ads on your own, but when you pay for the ad, that's, you're saying they're auto-populating the phone number in the ad? I mean, in your- um, In your lead, yeah. In your lead, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That it's, so it's called Facebook lead forms. Mm -hmm. You could go to Facebook, and I actually don't even know what it looks like in Facebook anymore because they change all the time. But it is a function of Facebook that, you know, you might know that you can run ads for impressions on Facebook. And that means people will see them, right? Doesn't mean you'll capture many leads. It just means you're going to get a lot of people to see it. We're not interested in that. We're interested in contact information for our clients. And so we use the lead form software. And so when it's out there, when, and here, if we click on, if you see your ad sitting here uh, and you can click, okay, these are off, this one's on, you can view the ad and it shows you what the ad looks like. And let's see if we can get there really quickly. So this is what it looks like. I think it's gonna show it to us on, on a mobile view and then we can show it. Let's see, yeah, so that's a mobile view. So that shows, so you see where it says learn more. When people click anywhere on this ad because they want to learn more, this little chat window pops up. It says, would you like more information? And it has only one answer. It says yes, but their name, email, and phone number is already sitting there from their profile. And that's why this is so effective at getting that. When we're doing that auto post, do you remember when I showed you your auto post? It kind of looks like this, but we're driving to a landing page. We're capturing the lead there. And that's where if you ask somebody to type in their own phone number, you're not going to have a lot of success there. So there's a value for auto posting and there's a value for running ads. Thank you. Uh huh. Any other I questions? Have a question. Yes. I have a question. So I had, I've had listings to leads for about, well, three and a half years. Okay. Um, I used it a lot in the beginning and then I haven't used it, but it is still posting my, you know, just listed, pending, yeah. open houses, that stuff. Do I have to go back in and update anything or will I have all this information, you know, still there and ac accessible for the new options? It, it, is it do you have the same account mm -hmm. okay. I, i'm i'm assuming yeah it, yeah so I haven't... if you have that old stuff turned on that's probably still working if you and then you you just have new functionality added so there's probably things here okay. that you haven't seen they're going to be in yeah. your account okay the, the one thing that i didn't mention but when we talk about social media auto posting when we go to your listings your listings typically auto sweep when it's just listed, it hits and you know, because we email and you say, Hey, we auto posted and you can go look on your social media and there it is. And, 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 and then, you know, it capture leads and all that. What we don't often know is what's happening when a home goes pending. So I do recommend that you come here to this page and you update it. You say, Hey, we're under contract or we have an open house or we're sold. When you change this status right here, Boom, we're going to auto post. We're going to send you a bunch of new tools. We're going to auto post to your social media. So definitely take advantage of that because a lot of MLSs do not notify us. Yes, that's the answer there. Any other questions? Yeah, one more. Yes. Um, maybe I missed it earlier, but once you obtain a lead or whatever through your platform, um, you said it's all in the follow up. Do you have a follow up campaign that yes. is available for us or? Yes. Right here, you yes. Is the, so when you click on follow ups, you can turn on buyer follow ups and seller follow ups, and either English down here or Spanish up here. And by the way, you might have missed that as well. On your profile, you can connect your own CRM, which might have its own follow ups. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's basically like a drip campaign. The yes. Days. Yes. Our follow ups are drip campaign. And I will say this like, we have one of the, the what is this company? 
KV Core. KV Core is a very popular CRM. They have their own follow-up system. One of the three national trainers is a client of ours. And he's A-B tested our drip campaign to KV Cores. We have a higher open rate and we close faster with our drip campaign than KV Core does. Um, so how long does it follow up for? Like if it's a seller lead, like how long is the system following up and how often? Oh, I don't exactly know. I think it goes on for like a year. I don't think it ever stops actually. Um, but the first couple of days, it's kind of hitting up and we're kind of touching multiple times. We are going to be adding text to this and kind of bomb bomb content as well, video content to make this more powerful. But as it is, the way we're writing it now, it's closing both buyer and seller appointments. Uh, let's see. Any any other questions? That's good. That's good. Okay. Well, don't forget about the YouTube channel. Got a little downtime. Just get familiar with our stuff. I honestly, it, and I know somebody asked. I, let's go over to get started. One thing I forgot to mention, but I think is important, is if you like cheat sheets. Right here on the on the dashboard are some playbooks. If you want more listings, pending and sold playbook here and seller PDF guide, these are good ways to get more listings, right? These are just worksheets. Um, open house, obviously up here. If you got a just listed home, you want to work on that, that'll help you out there. These are just sort of, you know, cheat sheets for certain sections. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to mention, we have a great support team down here on the bottom left. If you have questions, just, you can call them or you can email them. They all jump on that. Um, I did at the beginning of the call, I think sent everybody a link to our, our, yeah, our, uh, 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 uh mastermind group on Facebook. I really recommend you join that. It's going to be very, very helpful for you to, to kind of see what other people are doing. Well, everybody, thanks for having me. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need anything, yeah. let us know. And um, I know it's a little bit. Sorry. Old. Yes. Sorry, Vincent, real quick. I just wanted to um, jump in here and just let everyone know. And I think I've shared this um, with everyone on the team in the past. Um, as far as the marketing collateral is concerned and the generation of all of that, um, Red Door can pop, hop in and we can cover as long as we're co-branded on that stuff up to 30 percent of um, any of the mailers that you send out, any um, marketing collateral, any farming that you do, um, we can cover that as long as we are co-branded on there as a partner. So I just wanted to make sure everyone is aware of that. And, you know, I know that everyone is able to, um, has my email and you're able to reach out or I mean, able to connect with me when you are ready to do that. Thank you, Lori. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Vincent. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody. Lori, um, I think we're I'm recording this, so I'll get this recording off to you hopefully later today. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank Bye, you. everybody. Bye. Bye.